Okay, so Guillermo, how did the short film come to your attention? And talk about wanting to make it, this into a feature. I see a lot of shorts every year because uh, I am always looking out for new filmmakers. And uh, uh, this was brought to my attention by Russell Ackerman, who was my assistant back at the day. And uh, he said, look, uh, this guy did a great short. His name is Andy Muschetti. And I knew the name because Guillermo Navarro, my cinematographer, had worked with Andy. And Guillermo doesn't like almost anyone. Uh, he's a mis misanthrope, <laughs> and he and he said, "This guy is a real deal. You should meet him." For Guillermo to say that, that's very high praise. So I said, hey, "Let me look at it." And the short was so scary. So Andy, just talk about the premise of Mama. Mm -hmm. Well, it's basically the story. The center uh, of the story is this woman who is uh, inept. Inept is the word. Inept. Inept. And in my English is not that amazing inept to, to confront a family situation and she is uh, confronted with the, the, the situation of taking care of two little girls that are not hers. And she eventually uh, faces this by herself and ends up uh, taking care of them and eventually uh, being able to, or at least like uh, being able to sacrifice for them. Uh, and in in doing this, uh, she has to confront a supernatural uh, entity, which is the other mother. How does the film really tap into a fear that all of us harbor? I think we're all afraid of our mothers, <laughs> for sure, <laughs> at some point. Well, it's, I think the the concept of uh, of a, a mother, which is such a basic and loving. Uh, figure and uh, thinking of it as a, something that might harm you is, uh, is, is very creepy. And universal. And universal too. Um, oh, I thought you meant the studio. Both. <laughs> <laughs> um, and add that, uh, that, that, that this mother is uh, a, a surrogate mother from beyond uh, makes it more interesting and creepy. And the casting is so great. I talk about Jessica Chastain and Nikolai, and the kids are fantastic. Nikolai, you know, I was a big fan of uh, Game of Thrones and Headhunters and Night Watch. You know, he's very, very good. And he's very, I, I really needed, as, as producer, I needed somebody that I could understand immediately how, how good he is like really good heart. And, and what surprises me about Nikola is that even when he's playing uh, a bad guy in these movies or in the series, he's incredibly charming and sympathetic. And I also thought that him looking like Nikolai answered a lot of questions of why she doesn't just say, screw this, <laughs> Let's, I'm not doing this. Because when you, when you see how much he is loving, nurturing, you know, he's, 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 he did a great, great job at that. He did a great job, and he's also, you know, Nicolai has two, two girls, uh, two daughters, and, and he related a lot with the character, with the character of the uncle who's looking for, for, the, for the disappeared uh, uh, nieces. Uh, uh, Nicolai, you will see in the movie that Nicolai has a very intense uh, war, first uh, third of the movie, and then because of, of, of the drama, he hands the torch to, to the other uh, hero, to the <laughs> reluctant hero, which is Annabelle, uh, played by Jessica. Um, that's it. I just have to ask him one question about the, your, the score. Oh, Talk yeah. about picking Fernando to do the score. Yeah, Fernando getting in the project was a, an amazing thing that happened. You know, Fernando is a, he's a crazy guy. Uh, we talk. <laughs> we talked a lot. He's very. It's. Uh, I enjoy a lot talking with him, and we talked a lot about the, the music, and it's very easy to to disperse with him because uh, he's crazy, uh, <laughs> and, and but we find like a lot of common uh, references uh, during the process of, of of doing the movie, and uh, of doing the score of the movie, and even uh, going back to zero. We started doing things that then we realized that there would 
we would find new references that we all we knew that might might be better for for this part particular scene or the other. Mm -hmm. And what Fernando brought was uh, a very you know uh, amazingly touching sensitivity. And I, w I wanted Fernando from the start because uh, we had done together two movies, Julia's Eyes and The Orphanage. And uh, the way I pitched him to Andy was this guy makes emotional, very emotional music mm -hmm. that really actually heightens the drama and is a rare quality in a, in a musician. Thank you so much. Thank you.